anyone who does any serious research into it is going to come to the conclusion that look, not all of it is just misperceptions or hoaxes. Something real is going on and it's pretty weird. Yeah, ab- absolutely. Absolutely. I saw this is my only, um, you know, real. I, I've looked up in the sky forever. You know, I was one of my first favorite TV shows was was Star Trek. The next one was Lost in Space. So I lot, watched a lot of reruns as a kid. Watched a lot of space movies. So I've loved looking up at the stars. And there was one time I was about fifteen years old. And again, we lived way out in the country. Our closest neighbor was about a mile away. And it was, uh, my my dad was a farmer and it was late. He he came home from planting, planting, and it was like nine or 10 o'clock. And I heard the truck come in and, but he didn't come in. And mom, I said, Jason, go out and check on your dad. And I did. And he was just leaning against the side of his truck and he pointed up in the sky that of the field that was between our house and the other house, you know, way, 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 uh, on the other side of the field. He said, do you see that? And I looked and there, it looked like, you know, you take a hole punch, you know, you punch a hole in a piece of paper. It looked like, you know, there was a giant hole punched in the sky. There were stars everywhere, but this big black circle was there. And we stood there for a while and then we could hear a hum. And I went and got my mother and she came out and she could hear the same thing. And a few months later, we get a phone call and it's our neighbor across the field. And he asks, do you see that thing that's above the field? And and we all did. So it wasn't just us seeing it. It was our neighbor confirming that we'd, we'd seen it. I have no idea what it was. My, my dad and I stood out, out there for, for you know, longer than mom did, but uh, it eventually just, went up and up and up and, and disappeared. What was that? That's a fabulous story. It, that, that is really amazing. I've never seen anything quite like that. I've had a, a sighting, but that, that is really cool. Yeah. I, I, and it could have been, I'm not ruling out. It was something from the United States government at all. Well, um, how fast did it go up and disappear? That's the, you know, where I'd go with that because sure we can make, we could probably make really large, reasonably silent flying craft, you know, made with lighter than air technology. But to have them say suddenly accelerate from zero to ten thousand miles an hour, no, we don't have anything like that. It it just it it was slow. It just slowly went up in the sky and disappeared. Well, it could have been some kind of tech, yeah, for sure. Possible. Yeah, I- I, I remember I was well. I was in college in the 1980s, and I went to college um, in a town called Warrensburg, Missouri, which was really close to Whiteman Air Force Base. And Whiteman is where they keep the B-2, uh, the stealth bomber. Right. And I had just watched a news program where they had a story about the stealth bomber, and a couple of days later, I was driving on on the highway. That was very close to Whiteman, and I saw a stealth bomber in the sky. And if I hadn't seen that news program, I would have thought the aliens were there, and I was dead. 